Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning in to my first Let's Play for The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Uh, I'm Dark Minded Sith. Nothing says first Let's Play episode like no game audio, some random number counters, and mispronouncing the name of your favorite game of all time. Hi, I'm Dark Minded Sith, and today is my 10 year anniversary of Let's Playing. 10 years ago today, I uploaded... I don't want to save it as my name or something, because I don't want to confuse people thinking that the main character's name is Ben or something, you know. Cause... This. This is an important milestone. So I've sat around for precisely 8 minutes trying to figure out how to celebrate it. So. Let's look back on the past 10 years of my Let's Play journey. RECAP! These past 10 years have been so awesome! I did a Let's Play of Ocarina of Time. Twice. I did a Let's Play of Banjo-Kazooie. Twice. I Let's Played Majora's Mask, which took two years. I Let's Played Banjo-Tooie, which took three years. I started Let's Plays of Perfect Dark, Pokemon Leaf Green, Mario Sunshine, and Pokemon Fire Red. And never finished any of them. Then I did some random sporadic crap for about two years. And, uh... Oh, well, that's it. Alright, see you in 2028. Alright, so I guess that's not very satisfying. I need to do something a little more... Poetic. Today is Dark Minded Sith's 10 year Let's Play anniversary. 10 years ago, he was a baby in a Let's Play nursery, pooping his diaper in a Walmart headset. Now it's been a decade. Jeez, aren't you dead yet? He's gone on many adventures, from Hyrule to my lair. Thwarted my plans twice with that stupid bird and bear. Here's to ten more years of no content and many a hiatus, and never continuing Pokemon Leaf Green. You know, I'm pretty sure you hate us. Alright. Sure, why not? We'll do it. We'll continue. Pokemon Leaf Green. It's been eight years, but we'll do it. So, let's pick up where we left off. It would be part 14. I just defeated Lieutenant Surge. We're in Vermilion City, and our next step is to head towards the Rock Tunnel. So, here we go. Let's meet up with Ash. Let's continue our journey. He's dead. Alright, um... Off screen. Alright, so off screen, I buried Ash in Lavender Town next to um, Gary Oak's dead Raticate. Alright, um, see you next project. Man, shoot, man. I don't, I don't need old Raticate. Get, out, get that mess out of here, man. Looking like the Goosebumps Monster Blood 2 cover. What are you doing? Don't call me Gary Oak. Man, shoot, I'm, I'm the man. That's my name, all right, man? I, I'm the man, all right, man? I got sunglasses. I got enough me. So I hope you all have enjoyed my little celebration of my past ten years. Now I want to get into the real meat of the... So I'm going to be starting my Let's Play today. For the Legend God, of Zelda shut up. For enough time. Now I want to get into the real meat of the celebration, which I decided to just keep simple. I thought I'd share some things about my Let's Play tenure and answer a few questions I've gotten over the years. So let's get this thing going. Let's get rocking and rolling. Uh... 
Alright, so I want to go ahead and just answer this one. What in the heck is my avatar? Well, for starters, it's not Sakura from Naruto. It's a fairy named Ribbon from Kirby 64 and the Crystal Shards. Not much of an interesting story behind it, really. I was trying to come up with an avatar at the time. I was playing that game. I thought she was cute. I wanted to pick a character no one really had as an avatar. And I kind of liked the idea that she seemed to have nothing to do with anything related to me. I'm a guy. I'm dark-minded Sith. Here's a cute pink-haired fairy as my avatar. So I went with that, and it stuck. And months went on, and a year went on, and I figured she just kind of became associated with my channel. So I just rolled with it, and she's pretty much been my avatar since. What got me into Let's Playing? So in the summer of 2008, while YouTube certainly wasn't new, this was the time when I really started getting into it. I watched a number of video game related videos, like YouTube poops of Zelda CDI games. Eventually, I decided to search for the WizPig race from Diddy Kong Racing, since this was a game I loved as a kid, but could never beat. So I searched Diddy Kong Racing WizPig race or something like that and I came across Durden77's Let's Play of the game. I went into the episode not expecting commentary, but when I got it, I enjoyed it. The very idea of someone else out there playing and enjoying these same games from when I was a kid was incredibly refreshing, as it seemed like everyone I talked to and hung out with was knee-deep in Guitar Hero and 360 shooters. So I watched more of his videos, we got to talking, and through him I discovered other Let's Players at the time, such as Exits Tyler, Cypher on 48, and X the Music, all of whom have unfortunately long since left the Let's Play scene. So I got inspired to make my own, but I wanted to do a game none of them were doing at the time. So I thought, what about Ocarina of Time? It's my favorite game of all time after all. So, I got some pirated software, a cheap Walmart headset, and on July 21st, 2008, I uploaded my first ever Let's Play episode. This leads me to my next topic of discussion. So if you go to my oldest videos, you'll see that I'm a lying piece of garbage, and that my first video wasn't July 1st, 2008, or Ocarina of Time. It's Pokemon Leaf Green on June 5th, 2009. That's because just about all of my videos prior to that date were deleted. Before all that, I had two completed Let's Plays, Ocarina of Time and Banjo-Kazooie. I had started but scrapped a Let's Play of Perfect Dark. I did a few random videos of Mario Party 2, and a multitude of other miscellaneous videos, such as YouTube poops, Let's Tries, and comedy crap. And then I had a couple of Let's Play episodes of Pokemon Leaf Green. From 2008 to 2009, I produced over 200 videos. But then, on June 5th, 2009, I went to my YouTube channel, and they were all gone. So what happened? Well, at the time I thought it was some kind of hacker, but looking back now, I'm nearly completely certain it was an angry friend I had at the time. Let's just say he was pretty toxic, and he didn't handle things very well. And he unfortunately took that out on my YouTube channel. <sighs> While my channel wasn't the same after that, I'm happy that I was able to keep going onward, with more projects and continued success. I was also fortunate to have some of my old videos saved by a few viewers. More on that later. And now let's answer some of the most important questions of all. 
Why have I done so few Let's Plays? Why do I have such a sporadic upload schedule? Why do you have so many unfinished and cancelled projects? And will I ever make more Let's Plays? There have been a number of factors that have played a role in all of this. However, there's one key reason for all of this. Well, it's the 10-year anniversary. Let's share some things, shall we? For the past decade, I've been battling depression. I was diagnosed in early 2011, when my depression hit its lowest point. It was so severe that I dropped to 112 pounds. I can't blame everything on it, but it has played a major role in my lack of content over this past decade. This is why uploads got so sporadic, and why so many projects went cancelled or unfinished. I began to have little confidence in my creativity, intelligence, and gaming skills and knowledge. I began to focus so much on the product that it completely got in the way of the fun I had with the process. I'm happy to say that I do feel it's gotten significantly better over the years. However, it is still a constant battle. And that brings us to today. So, will I ever make more Let's Plays? The most I can say is, I want to, in some form or another. I do want to make more commentated playthroughs of video games, in some shape or form. The problem has been getting it just right, because I have so much criteria that I want to be met. For starters, I don't want to just do a standard casual Let's Play anymore. A huge 50 episode project where I cover every little thing in the game. It's just not something I want to do anymore. It's time consuming, it's exhausting, and I'm not even sure how much of an audience there is for that anymore. I do, however, have an interest in making, say, abridged playthroughs where I cover a game, but I showcase key parts that I feel are worth talking about. The problem, though, is I, I just haven't found the right game yet. And I've tried. I was going to do a playthrough of Pokemon X. I even had the first episode of gameplay recorded. But I got kind of intimidated by the game's length, and as time went on, I sort of found I didn't really like the game as much as I used to. I've had other contenders as well, like Animal Crossing New Leaf, which is one of my top five favorite games ever, by the way, a first-time playthrough of the original Animal Crossing, a playthrough of a modded version of Pokemon Crystal done by my friend Roger, and Star Fox 64 3D. All of these have been on my radar as possible playthroughs, but I just haven't had a lot of confidence in just how interesting I can make these games. Is it possible I won't make any more Let's Plays? Find the right game that scratches all the right itches? It is possible. But the most I can say is, I don't have any plans of leaving this galaxy and going far, far away anytime soon. Whether I'm making regular content or not, you can always find me on Twitter, or in a podcast, or on Twitch, or co-hosting something, or somewhere on the internet. I may not have had a very consistent Let's Play tenure over these past 10 years, but Let's Playing has had a consistent positive effect on my life. And that is truly worth celebrating. So, that's my 10-year anniversary in retrospective. I'd like to end with some major thank yous. First, I want to thank these guys right here, who were or have been major inspirations for my content over this past decade. Second, to this select group of great friends I have made through Let's Playing. And lastly, of course, to all of you. I have had some magnificent viewers over these past years. 
but there are two particular I want to thank. The first is Zelda Wolf 2000. Earlier I mentioned some of my old videos that were deleted got saved by some viewers. She was one of these. She saved parts 1, 2, 5, and 6 of my original Ocarina of Time Let's Play. Having even just a handful of these episodes saved was wonderful, but especially part 1. Having just about all of my videos gone, it was awful. But to be able to have my very first Let's Play episode ever, I'm truly grateful for that. So, Zelda Wolf 2000, thank you so much. And lastly, I don't really like the idea of, you know, ranking fans over others. Like, certain fans are less worthy than others, but... There is one guy I do got to give a special thank you to, because I don't think I have had a greater fan over the years than this guy. And that is the cool legendary hero. Man, you have left me so many nice, long, wonderful comments over these years. I mean, it has been overwhelming. All the stuff you have said, and all the comments you've left. I... I have to give you a special thank you here, man. Thank you so much for all your support, all your comments. You've been a great fan to have. Thank you again to all of you for all of your years of support and great comments and patience, especially patience. Good God. You guys are great. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go retain my title of doing absolutely nothing. Oh, and I'm uh, going to continue Pokemon Leaf Green.